So here we have a Chrysler Town & Country. This is one of the most common vehicles that I go fishing for with the truck, you know, pulling them out of a snow bank or snow drift or whatever. And the thing that always frustrates me with these is there's nowhere to tie on to. So what we're doing here is Brian is uh, winching a van that's stuck. Um, this is a Chrysler Town & Country. You see here, she kind of slid sideways and got caught up on a concrete um, curbing. It's all broken and in the wrong spot anyway. But anyway, uh, it's a very cool day and uh, hopefully we'll have good this to hook one. into on this. <laughs> We're gonna have to be a little creative and maybe use a sway bar. You go to hook onto it with a hook, and what are you going to do? Hook onto like the air conditioning lines right here, or maybe you want to hook onto. There's nothing. <laughs> There's nowhere to hook onto them. So most BMWs, they'll have a little section in the bumper where you'll notice there'll be a little square and you wonder to yourself, what is that for? So you pop out the square and there's a tool in the trunk um, that just screws into it. It's a ring with a large bolt. It's like a big eye bolt. And you screw it into there and that's what you hook onto if you're going to be towing or you're not supposed to pull it out of a stuck position. It says that in the manual. But at least you have some way to tow or pull or grab onto a vehicle that's been disabled. Um, on this you can see there's just nothing to grab onto anywhere on the front of it. I mean it's just blank and even if you get up underneath assuming that it's not stuck in deep snow and you can there's nothing to hook onto because it's just a wall. Um, you could hook into the motor mount perhaps um, but there's no real good way to to get into that uh, winch hook certainly won't fit into that and then you're pulling on the motor and the motor mount as opposed to pulling on the frame or anywhere that you really have support and you might be saying that every vehicle has to have a means to secure it for transport and these do these are not the exception if you look down from the driver's side and go underneath the front means for securing these is right there in the unibody and you can fit a hook into that just fine and if you want to get in the mud and the snow and the dirt and get clear up underneath to hook into that that's great that's fine okay. now we're hooked up this will pull it out But now you've got a strap that's so far behind the tire that you run the risk of running it over. So that's great for tying it down onto a flatbed trailer or you know a car hauler or something like that. But as far as pulling it out of trouble or pulling it up onto a trailer, um, you're a lot better off to go with something like this. This is a sling strap. Um, it's used for a lot of different things. You can wrap it around a tree and use it doubled up. Um, this way around the tree for if you're going to use a winch as an anchor and what I would have this in my minivan is you can use it to provide a way to grab onto the van without doing any damage to it and uh, make a lot better situation of a bad situation um, you can hook onto these with a toe strap let me show you how but because the straps nice and flat you can get it down in there it doesn't have to be a particular brand. I've got a link to an Amazon brand uh, in the description. But see how quick and easy that is and you're all doing it from above. And even if there's snow, you don't need a lot of room to do this. You don't have to have it jacked up either. I just did that to make filming easier. But now you've got great support. 
So the view from underneath, you've got the strap over here. Now this is all heavy duty reinforced. This is the mount for the transmission in the engine. It's plenty heavy duty enough. This uh, radiator support's made to take a collision. It's made to support the radiator and it butts right into the unibody of the frame. So there is a lot of strength here and you're using heavier gauge metal and it's double layered in many places. So where the strap's going is right over this point here where it's very reinforced. So we're going over one side and around the other, so it kind of gets into the cradle there. So it can really take a lot of force, you know, certainly support the weight of the van coming up out of a snow bank or a ditch. And the nice thing is, with the straps, you don't damage any of the body. You know, the reason that this is designed the way that it is is to just be attractive and aerodynamic, and you maintain that, you uh, preserve that aspect. So from the top view you can see the motor mount and then if I pull up on the strap you can see the little shelf, the little reinforced uh, steel section, the member that's going to be supporting the weight as this is pulled. But uh, you go to pull it out again, speaking of pulling, you just pull it right up and out. And generally this part of the motor is very clean so it doesn't get you dirty and it doesn't get the rest of uh, your strap or your equipment anything dirty. And you can take a a uh, toe strap, hook it into that black, and you don't want to puncture with the hook, you want to make sure that you get it uh, all the way around. And now you can hook into that. And if you wanted to pull the toe strap through and make a more secure connection, you're afraid of it coming undone, you can bring the toe strap around and just tie it in. So, you get the idea. All you Eagle Scouts can just go nuts on whatever kind of uh, knot you like to use. See, isn't that cute? You just hook on and then just uh, give her a tug. And you can use that as a bell saying, hey, don't drag my strap. You know the drill. Click like, click subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks.